Today we're going to take a look at the Stirling engine. This is a miniature Stirling engine and it operates on the principle of the difference in temperature between a hot reservoir and a cold reservoir. Let's go ahead and reset with, uh, with uh, boiling water and then let's put liquid nitrogen on the top and see how fast we can get this thing to go. Liquid nitrogen is about negative 195 degrees Celsius. So whereas dry ice was only 78 below zero, liquid nitrogen is much colder, negative 195 below zero. So let's see if we can get it started. And we can see that it's already operating. And this is why I put my copper tape there to kind of help contain the liquid nitrogen. So it's, it's going pretty good. Let's see what happens when we actually add liquid nitrogen to this system. All right, let me go on this side, I think. Right? Negative 195. And it boils away right away, but you can still get that, that plate very, very cold. So you can see this thing is really cooking now. Now what happened was that when I poured it on there, it gets, it gets so cold that it sort of like, it sort of seizes up, but then it kind of overcomes that. And you could just see, now as you can see, it's starting to seize up. So let's see what happens. This is kind of neat. I've never really done this before. So let's just let it kind of thaw out a little bit. Something in there is frozen up. You can start to see it cooking along really good here. Let me add a little more. It eventually will seize up because eventually something's going to freeze in there, right? It's not designed to do this. But you can see that it's working, you know, quite well. Now, just for giggles, just because I like doing things, let's grab some dry ice, which is not quite as cold, but we can make a nice cloud. So let's drop it in there, something like that. And we'll pour some liquid nitrogen on top. And we can get a little effect there. So you can see this thing is really cooking now. Much, much, much faster than before. So 100 degrees on the bottom, negative 195 degrees on the top. And you can see it's really cooking now. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.